Okay, Aaron Warner down here. Good news training at any time. Fitness in West Lebanon. I'm talking to... Who am I talking to? Ken Longson. And uh, Ken, how old are you? Where are you from? And what do you do? I'm 66 years old. I live in South Royalton. And I don't do anything. I'm retired. You're retired. What did you do before you retired? My last job, I was a salesman. So, if you don't mind, what did you sell? I sold bathtubs for bath fitter. Oh, nice. Well, everybody needs to take baths, right? So yeah, that helps, believe me. <laughs> pretty good market. So, Ken, now, uh, the reason why we got you on this video is uh, you just happened to take first place in the six-week transformation challenge that we just had down here at Anytime Fitness. We had three teams of almost 30 people, uh, and you, you beat out all these 30 people. And if I'm not mistaken, you're the oldest person in the competition. That's not an insult. That just uh, I think that just adds to the fact that this is a pretty remarkable feat. So if you wouldn't mind telling me, uh, what was your secret to success? Well, secret to success is um, knowing what you're looking for. And it's like when I retired, I knew I had to get back into shape. And uh, I've been working on it for a while, but I hadn't been getting the results I was looking for. So I took on this challenge for that reason. And uh, I'm just a competitive person. When it comes down to that, I'm going to play for all I'm worth. And that's exactly what I did. Yeah. And um, so just to, I think the most remarkable thing was you lost just south of 27 pounds. Uh, the next nearest person lost 17 pounds. So you beat the, you'd be almost lapped the competition getting out there. Um, weight loss is a big, big industry. There are a lot of people overweight in this country. A lot of people want to know what's going to work. And a lot of people don't think you can do it uh, when you get into your 60s or that it becomes much harder. I think you exploded all of those myths. So wh what did you do exactly to lose all that weight? I followed the instructions I was given, and I <laughs> stuck to it as close as I could, which being human, you do slip once in a while, but you've got to realize that you better get back as quick as possible or you're going to go right downhill. Okay, so, so as not to be secretive, what kind of instructions were you given? Well, you know, what to eat, that you can't avoid certain things like fat, which is kind of against everything I'd known all my life, but it's obviously true, you know, because, because I experimented with weight and, you know, how the weight comes off and how it stays on, mm -hmm. and literally, starving yourself does not work, right. period. Yeah, one of your teammates actually under ate, starved themselves and put on weight while they were doing it, and then put on weight trying to get their calories back up, and lost about three weeks' time trying to do it that way. So you ate a fair amount of fat. What are some of the things that you ate that surprised you? Bacon. Yeah. That, that's the number one thing that absolutely surprised me when I was told, well, go home and have bacon and eggs, yeah. and, and, and you know, you know, the grease isn't going to kill you. And it's like, that's something that just always, wait a minute, you know? It's Who like, is the crazy SOB that told you to do that? I'm you scary. were. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, so just people, so people know that it's actually somebody who's in the fitness industry, been doing it quite a while, uh, and this isn't some radical weird thing. You ate bacon, you ate eggs, you ate potatoes, you ate, you ate just a lot of healthy, natural food, right. the processed foods to a minimum. What about for working out? What did you do? Well, besides the training that we went through in the class, I mean, I, I, I get on the treadmill and do about three miles a day, mm -hmm. you know, traditionally. And a lot of the time, I was coming back at night, and I was, was just pedaling. You know, no, no high aerobic, but just low aerobic to burn off energy and, uh, you know, burn off a few extra calories. So you and put just, in close to maybe an hour and a half worth of workout time in a day um, in the morning, and then you put in a little bit more at night. Is that right? It was closer to two hours in the morning and about an hour at night. Okay. And that's a substantial amount of work. And that's the other yes, thing it is. Yep. that had a lot to do with it, doing that much work in a day. Uh, is going to help you with the weight loss. So um, what would you say to anybody else out there who's wanting to lose weight? Maybe they want to do it fast, like you, 27 pounds in six weeks. Um, what would you tell other people in the Upper Valley they should they should consider doing? Well, if you're going to do it like anything else, you better have your mind set on doing it because it's not going to just happen. It does take a bit of work and dedication. But, you know, if you really want it, it's like anything else in this world, you can go after it and you can have it. Hey Amen. Did you, um, were you out of your comfort zone much while you were doing this stuff? Not really. I mean, I knew what I was getting into because I used to be, you know, play sports and uh, I've been through this circuit before. It's just that the older you get, it gets a little bit harder, but it can still be done. It's not, 
you know that old thing where you're too old for this and because you're so old you you know it's harder to lose weight well maybe it is but it can still be done absolutely period. absolutely and uh, so you're the big i think 400 hundred dollar winner you win 400 bucks for that yeah and if your team wins you'll win another 100 bucks so yeah. 500 bucks for losing weight not bad huh yeah all right ken thanks for sharing your good news man thank you